Grade 3 Math, number 3.5, Model with Arrays. See, we have a row of dots, and we have a column of dots. We can use an array to help us model multiplication and find factors. An array is a set of objects that are arranged in rows and columns. Rows go across, and columns go up and down. You remember what factors are, right? Factors are the numbers that we multiply together to get a product. The 2 and the 7 are factors. All right. So here we have two rows of 3. This would be 2 times 3. We have one row, two row, and we have 1, 2, 3 columns, so we have 2 times 3. Now here we have 3 times 2. We have 3 rows and 2 columns. They both equal 6. Here we have two rows of five, two rows, one, two, and one, two, three, four, five columns. And here we have five rows of two, one, two, three, four, five rows, and two columns, two times five and five times two. They're both 10. Here we have four rows of three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three columns, and three rows of four. One row, two row, three row, and four columns. Three times four. So four times three, and three times four. Here we have three rows of three. So we have three times three. One, two, three rows, and three columns. Three times three. Here we have two rows of seven. Two rows and seven columns, two times seven. And here's seven rows of two. We have seven coming down and two columns, seven times two. See? And we can use pennies, buttons. You can even use Legos or crayons to make an array to help you do your multiplication. Just remember, the first number is how many rows you have, and the second number is how many columns you have. First number is how many rows you have, and the second number is how many columns you have. All right? See if you can find some pennies or some buttons or some Legos or crayons or something that you have a lot of that you can use to help you do the multiplication and make some arrays. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.